Hello gamers, uh, Pet here. Welcome to a video on how to create uh, a terrain in Unity using Gaia. Uh, I plan to do a couple of uh, videos on terrain generation in Gaia because there are so many tools that allow you to create really beautiful worlds. And I kind of had a little bit of a passion with this type of world creation uh, since I was, I don't know, 14, 15, since I was playing Gothic 2 basically. And then playing Gothic 1, I actually started with uh, Gothic 2 first. <laughs> um, so, you know, the fact that I have these tools at my disposal and I can play with them to create beautiful environments, uh, you know, getting the hassle of creating beautiful terrains, basically, uh, that's kind of like a, a really exciting thing for me. So I'm happy that I can show you actually how to use Gaia. And in this video, I'm going to try to, to keep it a little bit short and show you how you can create randomized terrain using Gaia. Uh, so as you can see, this terrain has been created in Gaia. Uh, then this morning uh, I also created this terrain in Gaia. It's also randomized terrain, totally randomized. I haven't touched anything. Uh, and also this terrain, you know. And uh, let me actually show you real fast. I already imported uh, um, Gaia into my project. I'm going to go window, Gaia, Gaia manager. And uh, I'm going to cover the standard rules right now. You can actually go advanced and there will be other other useful tools uh, because guy it's a really it's a really easy to use uh, asset out of the box but it the, the asset itself has a lot of tools that can enhance the way you create uh, uh, you create um, your um, your terrain basically. So let me actually go the unity way. I create uh, put the terrain like this uh, right and then uh, I would have to manually actually go and add the textures here, manually add the trees here, manually add the foliage here, and then I would have to go uh, and, and, and start painting basically uh, la like this, right? Uh, and then maybe go a little bit lower with this, and it's kind of like a hassle, right? Uh, yeah. Um, okay, so let's uh, let's go the guy away. I'm going to create push the first button, create terrain and show stamper. And uh, bam, I have a terrain here. And if I go to the terrain itself over here, uh, you can see that I already have the textures added here. I already have the trees here. I already have the grass here. Uh, so I can already start painting uh, my textures. I can already start planting some trees. Uh, that's kind of great. Gaia already saved me a lot of time. <clears throat> And you can actually uh, customize those defaults. As you can see, those two files, there are asset files. And if you select them, there are a couple of settings here that you can set up into the this Gaia manager. And every time you press the button, it will load out your settings. So you, would, you won't have to do them yourself. And I think that's kind of like an important uh, thing. So, uh, session manager. This is the session manager. It's a way that it's recording all your changes. So in case you don't like something, you can delete it and then you can play uh, what happened again. Uh, so again, I'm going to press this button, random terrain generator. Uh, it will use 10 stamps and I will explain to you in a second what a stamp is. Uh, the scale, the height, the border, I want uh, it to be surrounded by water. Uh, hill chance, island chance, lake chance, mountain chance. Let's say that maybe I want a couple of more mountains. Uh, maybe a couple of more rivers. I have no idea what's going to happen. And I'm just going to play add stamps. Um, and press add stamps button. And as you can see, guy right now it's stinking a little bit. And then as you can see, the operations have been added here. And guy is going to do that. And now when I click play session, uh, yes, magic is happening. Magic is happening. Okay. Okay. More magic, more magic, whoa. Okay, so it's it's almost done. And now it's done, right? It's done. We just got this terrain for us right now, like this, okay? I'm going to say that this terrain is fine. Uh, in a future episode, I'm going to show you how you can create a couple of those stuff manually, including importing your own stamps. So right now I'm going to press uh, this button called create spawners. Those um, those game objects got uh, created. As you can see, we are first going to look at coverage texture spawner. As you can see, our textures are over here. And if I press the button spawn, 
it's waiting a little bit. What, what's going to do? Basically, what guy is doing right now, it's looking at your textures, looking at your textures rules that are over here. And then guy is looking at the elevation of everything and is going to paint the textures for us. Just like that. I mean, it's not like that. It takes, it takes a little bit of time, but comparing on how much work it is to do some stuff manually, sometimes it's very enjoyable, don't get me wrong, but being able to prototype terrain this fast, so fast, it's kind of amazing. So as you can see, on under the water, this is like the water helper. There is no water there, basically. If I deselect, there is no water there. Um, it, it, it painted the 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 sand texture basically right then we have some grass and where we have slopes uh gaia painted those uh rocky kind of texture right and as you can see these are the rules that you can customize yourself i'm not going to go into that right now now i'm pretty happy with the textures now i'm going to go and uh, the coverage game object spawner basically it has those uh, rules it's going to spawn some farms uh, a small village maybe maybe some rocks maybe a corpse as you can see here uh, but i don't know let's see what's going to happen i'm going to press the spawn button and it's thinking it's thinking as you can see it's already spawning stuff uh, if you want more i can press the button again and now guy is going to calculate everything yet again and the circles that you can see there are actually the colliders and you will see that that that, that thing is very important especially since you are going to create you know kind of like a open world first person or maybe third person whatever environment so having colliders already in place it's a huge deal <laughs> so so yeah i mean we have those rocks here. They the rocks already have LOD, uh, LODs on, so that's why you that, that's why you see them appearing like that. So okay, this everything was generated randomly. Even, even this shack there, it was generated randomly, right? Okay, let's move on. Uh, and the objects themselves that are over here, you can actually go to them, uh, delete them, and uh, whatever you want. Let's uh, use clustered tree spawner. I'm wondering what that is doing. And I press the spawn button. Broop. Guys, what's 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 happening? We have trees with a press of a button, just like that. And what's more important is that uh, the trees themselves have been painted using the Unity. Uh, you know, it is the same technique. If I was painting trees here, they are not actually game objects. Right, they are into the terrain, so I can't click them and move them. Uh, but you know that there is going to be a huge problem with what with the colliders. So Gaia already created colliders for all the trees. If you want more trees, you can press that button again. But these are the clustered tree spawner. Now I'm going to use the coverage tree spawner. And if I press the button, spawn, it spawned some trees. Pressing the button again, it spawned more trees. And maybe one more time, why not? It spawned more trees. And uh, again, you have the rules of what uh, trees that you want spawn. Uh, as you can see, active rules too. Uh, and then, of course, rule selector. You have a, a lot of options to actually customize this whole randomized part, right? And if you go over here, you can see that uh, it's looking decent, but it can maybe be improved. What What is it missing, guys? Come on, tell me. Uh, we go to coverage detail spawner and I press the spawn button. And it's thinking it's this is going to take a little bit of more time because it's it has to calculate everything all the areas and as you can see the location increment it's it's 1.2 so it's like 1.2 meter meters and the terrain is a little bit big so it has to calculate the whole area to see where to put foliage and where not to put foliage and uh, when that is going to be done you will be a little bit uh, uh, amazed hopefully i don't know <laughs> um so yeah, I don't want to move the camera right now because you will see when it pops up. But basically, let me in the meantime show you what, what the stamps mean, basically. Uh, so if you go over here in this uh, folder called stamps, uh, you see that we have bases, hills, islands, lakes, mesas, mountains, plains, river, rocks, valleys, villages, and waterfalls. And if you go into there, let's go into hills. And let's uh, get them a little bit up. As you can see, there are like height maps. 
and basically Gaia has a lot of those height maps and he, he based based on some rules it randomly picks those height maps and it's stamping everything into the terrain itself and you can add your own stamps or there are there have been other developers that created their own stamps like this desert pack and so on so that's great son look guys look we have we have grass we actually have grass look how beautiful everything is and i believe the the video is at the 10 minute mark or something like that and we were able to create this just like this and the last button is create player wind water and screenshotter uh so again gaia took our main camera it deactivated our main camera and it created a player which is a first person character uh, as you can see here and uh, i believe that i do need to add the camera effects yet again uh yes okay i accidentally pressed it twice uh so let's see how i'm going to disable the hdr i'm not sure there is a bug in the unit this version of unity if you have hdr during the um, the scene tab it, it darkens everything even that the game tab looks normal so yeah i i, I don't know but uh, but basically okay morning afternoon it's thinking Oh, look how beautiful it is. Evening and night. Thinking has to calculate the light again. So afternoon, I'm going to let it at afternoon. So basically right now, if you, if you actually press play, we are going to be, yep, moving around into we are actually in a world that we created in 10 minutes or so uh yeah i mean i like stuff like this let's actually oh ah press the wrong button <laughs> i actually wanted to to grab the grab the player and set him over here so we can explore this area faster so yeah look we have random stuff that were added just like that i'm i'm up for that <laughs> so anyway uh, i wanted to keep this video short i mean just like that we created a full terrain uh, Gaia has a lot, a lot of integrations with other assets. Those came out of the box with Gaia. But think that you can actually make your own models, put them in a folder, tell Gaia to look at these models, look at your trees maybe, look at your textures, and then just like that you create your own terrain. And as I've said uh, at the beginning of the video, you don't have to use it like this. You just use the stuff that you want. You don't like the textures or you want to apply a couple of stamps by yourself and I will show you in another video how to do that uh, you just use those tools but look what I was able to create with Ga in just uh, 10 minutes so I'm going to save the scene because I'm very proud of it <laughs> uh, hopefully this was useful for you guys don't forget to check my website gamerpad.com or click the link in the description below if you want to check out uh, Ga. Hopefully this was useful. Uh, again, leave a comment if you have suggestions and so on. So thank you guys for watching this. Goodbye.